After being neglected and starved while in captivity in Toledo, this malnourished black jaguar was rescued last Thursday and is the newest resident at the Belize Zoo. He was aptly renamed Lucky Boy since he was at death's door when he was rescued. Animal Management Supervisor Humberto Wallers was among the team that transported Lucky Boy from Indian Creek Village. He says the jaguar was so weak that they could not move him immediately and sedating him was too risky. This uh, concert between Belize Zoo and the Forest Department to rescue this really emancipated jaguar, black jaguar that was um, left abandoned in, um, in the resort in Indian Creek. Um, it took us a couple of days before we um, set up the real trap to transport him back to the zoo. As we saw the situation, not using any sort of drugs to transport him. This was because of his health conditions that, you know, using drugs wasn't the best, mm -hmm. the best way to go. So we designed a special transport box, a trap box, and we took time to train him. It was a one day training. Mm -hmm. And once he was comfortable in the crate, then we closed the door and we decided to transport back to the zoo. Waller says they made several stops on the long drive from Indian Creek to make sure the Jaguar was okay. Six days later, he has settled in at his new home and the founding director of the Belize Zoo, Sharon Matola, has started the rehabilitation process. He's an exceptional Jaguar, that's all I can say. He's, uh, when he came here, he was pretty weak and confused, and which told me he, he needed, he had to be in zoo ICU intensive care unit here and but you know in two days he was readily eating out of my hand in three days he learned to give a high five and uh, he he knows his new name is lucky boy he's got his own song mm -hmm. and he's really recovering in in good shape in good time with advice from a wildlife vet who specializes in big cats lucky boy was placed on a special diet when you saw him, Delani, you would think, please, let's feed him, let's feed him, let's feed him. He, he's so thin. That's the worst thing you can do because you have to do it on a gradual system so that it's digested and he, and, or else it could be really detrimental. None of us really thought about that, but our doc did. So he's been given not only a good diet, but a strategy on how to take that diet and turn it into pure muscle and good stuff inside. So that's what's happening. Gets beef liver and beef and boiled eggs and a special cat food that we are so lucky uh, folks brought down for us. We can't buy it here. You cannot buy it in the United States without a prescription. But it's really, it's high protein, critical care cat food and he is responding beautifully. But it will take months of work before this cat is ready to be integrated into the general zoo exhibit. He needs to get his fur in shape. He needs to get the lesions off of him. He, we had fecals taken of him. He has worms. We need to clear that up. Um, there's a lot that need, you can't just say, oh, he looks good, we'll put him in. He's, he needs to be medically checked. And if there's anything wrong at all, all of our cats are, are taken very well care of. So diseases aren't passed and they have a life that exhibits their care. So. I can't say, I really don't know. I, our goal is to have him be out on exhibit as a Christmas present to Belize. So that's a long time, but sometimes that's how long it takes to make sure that everything's okay. Matola explains that Lucky Boy was at the Balumna Resort for at least 10 years, but his temperament indicates that he was not always neglected. He definitely reflects a situation where he was not mistreated when he was in PG. I, I think that's important for people to know. Something happened, something unpleasant happened. Um, I don't know what happened, but this is a cat who was given very good care for a long time or else he wouldn't behave this way. And let me tell you, we have had problem jaguars come to the zoo where they just charge the fence and charge the fence and it takes days and days and days of intense working with them. You, you nearly have to move in with them carefully <laughs> and uh, until they really calm down but with Lucky Boy it was so much quicker and so much more on an amenable level. With the addition of Lucky Boy there are now 15 Jaguars at the Belize Zoo some of whom are still in rehabilitation. He is however the only black Jaguar since the one before him Ellen died of cancer in 2008. Delani Bain for News 5.